Okay, I'm just waiting to go into the uh, OR. It's going to be probably another half an hour. They had the IV in me, and uh, he was trying to talk me into a spinal anesthetic, and I said, no, I want the general. I, I don't want to be involved with any of it, you know. He was telling me there was less pain and less bleeding and everything else. I was like, yeah, but I'm going to be hearing sign and pass me that wrench and let go of that sledgehammer and give him another whack and stuff like that. And I, I, I'm, I'm not into that. So I'm pretty doped up right now. Uh, so, uh, I mean, they said I feel a bit nauseated. That's what they said. I'll be nauseated when I wake up or whatever. And I have to wait till I eat some food now. And say, well, I just got over seven years of nausea, so yeah, a few hours of it won't really phase me to be a walk in the park compared to what I've been through. It's pretty quiet here in the free op center. Like they did everything they were going to do to me. Inspected all the pills I've been taking. And the anesthesia, the anesthesiologist, I guess it's his name. Uh, he told me he's going to tell the other one in the OR that I want a general. Just a general kind of guy. Just a regular kind of guy. Uh, I said, well, I don't have to pay for it, do I? And they said, no, it's a tin roof, it's on the house. So I said, hey, there you go. So, I think my next entry will be when I'm uh, got the new titanium hip in installed. I'm like a Windows computer. I'm having a major update. I'm having a service pack put in. Let's hope nobody boots the fucking plug out, right? When it says, please do not turn off your computer. So, I'm curious to see how many staples they're going to put on me. But in, you know, like last time I had like, I don't know, 76, it was a world record. It was a long, long scar. So let's see what they do this time. I know, I know they got to go in there and remove all the nuts and bolts and everything else. Saw the other old hip out, right? And I, I don't want to hear anything. I don't want to hear any banging or spit, you know. I went on the internet and I saw them do a total hip replacement and, uh, you know, it made me sick to my stomach, so I really don't want to be. He said that, you know, you'll still be a little groggy. He said, you won't. I said, I said I'll still be coherent. I'll still hear it. And he said, well, yeah. He said, we can give you a little bit more as, as we're going along. And I said, in other words, you take, take the whole time of the operation to try to dope me up further. And, you know, I just don't want to play that game. You know, they just give me the big needle or whatever you give me and just put me under, you know. If I wake up, I wake up. If I don't, I don't, you know, because I'm at my, my limit with this, you know. You know, I can't get very many girls being a useless, hopeless cripple that I am. And, uh, yeah, I really learned my lesson, you know. Yeah, I've been pretty humble now. And, uh, we're coming near the time. I don't hear any saws going in the next room or any yelping, so maybe Dr. Naughty's on a roll today. Let's hope. Maybe not a fan of these late afternoon operations. I like the first in the morning, you know. But maybe, you know, they said sometimes you run to head. So that's good, right? My stomach's pretty fucking well empty. And uh, I can't even have any water right now. They don't want me to spit up when I'm put under. I said, well, let's hope I get some fucking oxygen. Right? Because uh, I don't breathe so good when I'm asleep. I went and got my hair styled and everything for this. And I just, I can't do a thing with it. This is going to be, this, this series of video hips, you know, it's going to be seen by thousands and, you know, I really should have done something with my hair. Oh, well. Come see, come see.